Hi, this is uh, David Smith again. I am at the uh, Montreal International Game Summit. I'm pleased to have with me Thomas Wilson, the art director at uh, uh, the big studio in Quebec City, Beanox. Uh, Thomas, please uh, introduce yourself. Well, my name, like you said, it. <laughs> my name is Thomas Wilson. I'm now an art director at uh, Beanox, former creative director of the company for the past five years. So I've been if I talk about what I do, I'll be talking more about the creative director position. Uh, but um, yes, I'm. Uh, that's what I do at Beanox. Very good. And uh, tell us a bit more about uh, Beanox. What sort of games you're making? Well, Beanox is has been around in the industry for a long time. It's uh, Beanox has been famous uh, for for a long time for developing ports, basically taking a game that's been developed by someone else and porting it into, let's say, a PC or Macintosh. But in 2005, Beanox was acquired by Activision, uh, to, and we started developing original titles based on their licenses. So uh, for the past years, we've developed titles like B-Movie Game, Monsters vs. Aliens, the video game. So we've been known around to develop uh, really good uh, kids licensed products. Uh, we've developed on the, we've worked on the Guitar Hero franchise as well, developed Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Uh, we've worked on J on the James Bond license with uh, a James Bond game, uh, Quantum of Solace on a Nintendo Wii, and most recently, which is considered sort of our breakthrough title, is uh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions on pretty much all consoles. Uh, so that's the latest game we've been working on, and we keep working on uh, you know cooler and cooler projects as we go along. Fantastic, and. Um Tell us about uh, what uh, you've been doing as art director or maybe formally as a creative director. What have you been doing um, uh, as far as your role in the company? Is yes. Concerned? So the role of the creative director in, in, in simple terms is to define the vision of the products we're developing and making sure that we maintain that vision all the way to the end. Uh, now, what a creative director does specifically is supervise the lead game designer and the art director of a project specifically. So a creative director could be overseeing multiple projects at once, uh, but the idea is that once the vision is defined, it is a creative, a creative director's role to make sure that the game is both fun and beautiful. Um, so through the, through the production of a game, then you know there's all kinds of interactions with uh, the programmers, uh, the artists, uh, the designers, but in short, that's what a creative director does. So let's say, once you know what a game's gonna be, let's say we're gonna be working on the next Spider-Man game, it is the creative director's role to define what that game will be and you know, communicate that message to the entire team and then make sure that you know, uh, everyone does their job to, get the, to make the best game possible. And uh, how did you come to get your job at uh, Beanox in the first place? Uh, it's interesting. It's a it's a long road. Um, and let me start from the beginning. I started as a, uh, a graphic designer. So I started. I, I went through college to, and I went through a graphic design program. Then I went to study in film animation because I wanted to uh, have some animation background. Then discovered that I was really wanted to 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 go into three D animation. And I looked at some of the schools in the United States. And uh, I went to a school called Ringling School of Art and Design big name, uh, and I went into a program called uh, com Interactive Communication, Graphic Design and Interactive Communications, and basically I ended up working on an online portfolio with my illustrations and all of my projects, and got a job in the industry back in 1998, uh, 1999, I'm sorry, and then I started as an, an illustrator, sort of concept artist slash uh, game designer. And uh, from there, there wasn't multiple schools at the time, but then everything emerged. So from there, I, I worked my way up through the ladders of one company, which, uh, which was called H2M in Montreal. And when Beanox got acquired by Activision, they were looking for a creative director. And a good friend of mine, who's actually the president of the company, said, hey, are you interested to move back to Quebec City to be working as the creative director? And I said, sure. <laughs> okay. And... <clears throat> Beanox, I think you've got over 200 people working in your studio. Why, why is that a great place to work? Well, Beanox is a great place to work because we try to get that family-friendly environment, although we're a very competitive studio. So, um, you know, other studios might focus on the quality of the product and, and sort of like undermine the quality of life of its employee. But it, at Beanox, you know, Quebec City is such a great city to live, but also 
the, the, the working environment, the ethics that are part of the company makes working there a great, you know, a fun place to, 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 to be because all, all of the people we're working with have a nice attitude and they're willing to work in teams. Um, when, we, when we go in through interviews in our process, we're looking at two things. We're looking at, obviously, the talent. Uh, so if from, from an artist or a programmer, we're looking at his ability to do code or you know, uh, the ability, the artist's ability to do great art. But then the, the, the thing we look at the most when we're going through the interview process is the personality. How does that person come across? If it's somebody who's really good, um, it doesn't mean anything if that person cannot work with a team. So we're looking at people that are um, you know, nice to work with and we try to focus that, uh, we focus on that a lot. Then there's all kinds of activities. We have uh, we have a gym so we can train. We have uh, workshops uh, and you know once in a while at, at lunch for people who have specific knowledge. Uh, we have uh, a lot of um, outside activities going uh, you know every week. So in that sense, although we're you know almost 200, uh, I mean it's a great place to work because working with the people is super nice. Fantastic. And uh, finally, Thomas, last question. Uh, what advice would you give a job seeker looking to apply for a job with Beanox? Determination. That's what it takes. Um, it's a competitive industry, right? And, um, you know, sometimes there's only one or two job openings. You know, if, we're, if you're lucky, a studio will open up and then they'll be looking for a whole bunch of people. But once in a while, you really have to stand, from, uh, stand out from the crowd. And my recommendation is that to any, peop uh, any student or anyone who is interested in, in joining that industry, when you get into your program, don't, don't just count on the program to give you what you need. Work hard. Uh, actually, make sure you find a way to make a statement and, and stand out from all the other guys or maybe just like going through the program you know, for the fun of it. You have to stand out. If you stand out, then you might get a chance. But don't stand out on top of everyone. Actually, just stand out for the right reason. It's just a matter of making sure that you spend the energy when you're studying to really develop, let's say, the strongest portfolio possible. And then you might get uh, a job, um, you know, you might start uh, your way into a company. And don't try to achieve a high-ranked job. It's not, it's not how it's gonna work. You basically get your foot in the door, find a, uh, you know, an entry job, and then figure out how the industry works and climb the ladder uh, if you have the skills. Great advice, uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas Wilson, Art Director at Beanox, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.